Hey buddy, Paul back here again from Ballistic Blood Bliss. Hope everybody had a great Christmas day and Boxing Day and got everything that they could desire under the Christmas tree. Lots of DVDs, lots of Blu-rays, lots of good stuff. The occasional pair of socks, like Mr. Blue. Anyway, this is a post-Christmas newbie. A new post day. And the postman brought forth a goodie for me in the guise of no less than Sylvester Stallone and of course the Expendables 3 and yes this is no ordinary version of the Expendables 3 this is the German Hero Pack Extended Director's Cut version box set of the movie cool cool stuff indeed let's just have a very quick look at the outer casing and then we shall dive right on in without messing about and look at all the goodies inside and there is just a little taster of what we've got cards and bonus extras and yes indeed a fantastic working zippo lighter of the expendables itself so there we go that's a taster Prepare yourself, strap yourself in, get to the chopper. It's time for the Expendables 3 Hero Pack. Welcome back. So here we go. Expendables 3 Hero Pack from Germany. Really, really surprised to get this one so quickly. Just a couple of days after Christmas, but so very, very delighted to do so as well. So here we have just a long shot of everything within the Hero Pack itself. And just swinging on and looking at the... Still book there, great cover art there with, of course, Mr. Stallone himself. And, of course, Barney Ross, his character. And uh, the Blu-ray version of the film as well. And uh, just some little bits and pieces here and background packaging to keep it all nice and secure. And uh, there's the cool Zippo lighter. As well we shall look at that in a second but first of all let's have a nice little look around the steelbook edition of the film itself and uh, that is extremely well done it's nice I think that uh, we've got this slightly debossed edging here and uh, all of this is nice clean uh, nice shiny sheen effect on the steelbook as well nice uh, glossy almost a matte gloss sort of mix actually it's, it's very bold does stand out and uh, very very dynamic but uh, nice and clean as I say all the way around and of course although this is a, a German release it is region 2 PAL and uh, it is also of course uh, in English language you do of course get German track as well but a uh, nice for DTS soundtrack in English of this one and uh, delighted to say it's a nice uh, cast shot there isn't it of uh, all the characters old and new got some good new characters there we'll chat about in a, a second as well but uh, all the recognizable big name stars there as well as a few new ones as well and very welcome ones as well got rid of course Bruce Willis who demanded too much million dollars per day for production uh, starring in the film, didn't want that, so Esther Stallone, the producers quite rightly said, no, thanks very much, off you go, and they brought in no less than Harrison Ford, and Solo himself, a real Star Wars, then this one is, as far as the film's concerned, with all the stars in it, but this has got some really cool background artwork as well, it's uh, in monochrome here, so a little bit more difficult to pick up on the camera, hopefully it does so, but a nice shot from the film showing the heroes in action there in stealth mode and uh, very very cool indeed so that's got some nice nice artwork really as I always say very very pleased and happy about that very nice to see that they have done that really really cool and very welcome and again that's the blu-ray edition of course that uh, nestles nicely within the Steelbook itself and that's uh, something else which is also very cool uh, which I know you guys have seen before this is the metal strip magnetic me uh, metal strip that actually nestles in as well 
onto the still book itself. So you not only get a shot there of Stallone, but uh, if you place this into the center, it's magnetic strip, just clicks into place there as you heard, and uh, you've got some alternate artwork there as well. So extra, extra cool, very nicely done. Always do like these German releases, get so much great value. And uh, speaking of value, let's uh, have a look at this very cool lighter. Such a cool boy's toy this is, that's the darn sure. So we got the uh, lighter, uh, I expect it's very similar to the one that uh, Barney Ross uses in the movie. Got the uh, skull and uh, knives and guns emblem there, of the expendables. And uh, there is the logo emblazoned there, and yes, all of this is very, very densely embossed, very, very nicely done indeed. And uh, this is something of some weight because it is a proper Zippo lighter and it is with fuel. This is a working lighter, folks. We get the real genuine article. You hear the click there, and uh, there we go. There we have all of its resplendentness, if that's a word, in form of the Expendables lighter. And uh, I won't uh, light it up here on screen, but uh, trust me, it does work. It is a fully calculated, calibrated, working edition of a Zippo lighter. And you gotta love that little sturdiness, that little snap, that little click. That's brilliant stuff. Really do like that a lot. So there we go. There we have the Expendables lighter. Very, very cool indeed. Let's just quickly as well, we get uh, a lot of uh, cards as well, postcards that uh, come with this. So let's just quickly go through. These, of course, show the characters in the film. But, uh, Sylvester Stallone there, and of course Jason Statham, and of course we do also have the Austrian elk Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he puts in another good turn, this one very very cool, and uh, always pleased to see Dolph, Dolph Lundgren, he's looking very cool these days isn't he, another one of the 50 plus brigade here, but uh, super fit, very cool, puts in a good sturdy roll, and pleased to see him back as being more on the same track. He was a bit uh, bit loopy in the last one. And uh, in this one he's very, very cool. Jet Li again, back in the movie, but only for about five minutes. But uh, always very, very welcome. And uh, delighted to say that we've got Harrison Ford, who is on form in this one. He actually cracks a smile, got some wit, throws in some jokes, one-liners, and uh, he's having a good time. Not seen him have a good time since uh, his heyday movies back in the 80s. Really, really very pleased about that. And uh, of course, very cool performance from Antonio Banderas. And uh, the diminutive little star puts in a great little turn in this one. Puts uh, his own stamp on this one, you can tell. And uh, very, very cool looking out for his character in this one. And uh, Kellen Lutz, this guy, not too sure who he is. Anybody who's seen his movies and uh, knows more about him, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, welcome your comments about this one anyway, but uh, particularly about this guy, because he puts in a good turn. Nice uh, little bit of young blood in the movie, but I uh, don't know much about him at all, if anything. And bad guy of the piece is Mel Mad Max. No more. Gibson, who was apparently offered the chance to direct the movie as well, but uh, declined. And for me, the cool scene stealer in this movie, none other than returning Wesley Prison Stripes Snipes out of jail and back with a bang. He puts in a fantastic performance in this movie. Really is one of my favorite characters in the whole movie. His character is called Doc, very, very good with knives. And uh, he cooks up a storm and he certainly knows how to operate in his role as the Doc. Very, very cool indeed. Such good stuff here. Really, really am delighted with all of this. Very, very good stuff. Expendables 3, directed by, of course, Patrick Hughes. He uh, is perhaps uh, best known before coming to this movie for his Australian Outback 
survival manhunt movie, Red Hill, and he's also down apparently to direct the remake of The Raid, so I look forward to that. This one, as we've just touched upon, of course, starring the usual gang, Jason Statham, Lee Christmas as Lee Christmas, Sylvester Stallone as Barney, Rubble Ross, and the rest of the Flintstones, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dolph Lundgren, Terry Crews, Randy Couture, along with Jet Li, Wesley Snipes, cool as the dock as I say, Mel Gibson, bad guy, Stone Banks, and Kelsey Grammer, and Harrison Ford. And uh, it's good to see him back as the Harrison Ford of old. Really, really did quite enjoy what he gave to this film. And together they have a yabba dabba do time in The Expendables 3. Really, really good stuff. And uh, just doing a little bit of uh, research on this one, found a couple of nice little tidbits about this one, cool little tidbits. Harrison Ford's character in the film is, of course, a skilled pilot. And uh, he apparently is actually in real life a fully trained, fully qualified, fully licensed pilot as well. And he has, down the years, undertaken multiple search and rescue missions. So good for you, Harrison. Good guy. And uh, Jason Statham, of course, we like uh, Jason Statham this one, don't we? Jason Statham, listen out for this next time you rewatch the movies. He has the last line at the end of each of all of the Expendables movies. Good little tidbit there. So there we are, folks. This is the German Heroes Pack Extended Director's Cut Edition of Expendables 3. Really pleased with this one. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know which version you're getting. But this one I could not be happier with. So once again, have a yabba dabba do New Year. And I hope you had a good Christmas, everybody. Take care. And if you've received this one, like me, I'm going to sit down and enjoy The Expendables 3. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now.